So guys, there's a lot of important components that go into shooting out on the water, or just capturing general fishing content, no matter what you're trying to do or what your goals are. And what we're going to talk about today is mounts. And you know, there's a huge variety of mounts that you can run on the GoPros. I'm going to run through some ones that are available through Monster Fishing, and they kind of cover the gamut of your action and first person mounts all the way to the mount that you can use to sort of capture videos like we're doing right now or if you're capturing a tournament way in or if you're trying to shoot maybe like a tips or a commentary video um, that one will help you out at the end there but let's get right started i'm going to talk about my favorite mount and probably my most versatile mount and you guys can probably guess what it is it's going to be a suction cup mount you know the suction cup mount it's just, it's one of those kinds of mounts that you can take from boat to boat. There isn't that much hardware. It's kind of compact. You can pop it on a kayak. You can pop it on a cowling of an engine. You can pop it on the gunnel, like right here. You can pop it on a windshield. Yeah, I mean, even if you're traveling to the lake, you can use it to get some kind of cool shots if you pop it onto the truck and do like an outside view. It really offers a huge level of versatility, and it's probably one of the most important mounts that you're gonna have when it comes to just capturing random content and being able to do it on the fly real quick and just get the job done. So definitely a suction cup mount. If you're gonna get one mount with the GoPro, that's, what's, that's what it should be. It just gives you the most versatility. You get underwater shots. You, you just get a ton of shots. So you're definitely gonna want a suction cup mount. The other really cool one that I've been playing with a lot lately is the chest mount. I got one right here. Chest mount is super cool because what it does is it offers you a first person perspective of whatever you're seeing out on the water. Oftentimes, and it's been my experience that, that I get like the big fish jumps and all that stuff because my body's kind of squared up with whatever action's happening in front of me. So that chest mount, it gives me the best shot of all that action. And it's really cool because it's capturing a lot of the, the cool shots that some of my, my rear mount cameras maybe aren't getting all the time because I'm getting such a wide perspective. And what's also nice is you get like a natural movement in the sense that your body is following whatever action is there. So you kind of have a moving camera, which is really cool because when you start looking and doing some, some editing in that, you're gonna notice that, that that stagnant view can get a little a little old for the eye. So that sort of natural movement of the camera with the chest mount provides something kind of different, I guess. It provides a little extra movement and uh, really keeps your viewer interested and the user's kind of, it just captures some cool stuff. Let's put it that way. So next, you know, one that, that I think is kind of cool and it provides an opportunity to really get technical with where you're gonna mount the camera are the GoPro adhesive strips. And I don't know how much you can see back here, but I got a few of them mounted right here and here. Um, they're just little square adhesive strips. They're super strong, super sticky, and they don't move. Now, I haven't done too many on my gunnel in that, so I don't know if they take paint off, but I can tell you, no matter what, they don't move, they don't slip. But what they do is they offer a real cool way to do a bunch of different locations of cameras, and then all you have to do is slide the camera in in order to mount it and you're good to go. It's locked in, ready to go. And they're, they're all on a quick release type mount. So I can pop that thing out and then slide it down into this one. And it, it's very user friendly, especially if you kind of start doing some brainstorming about where you want those points of view on the boat, whether you want one coming up from the trolling motor, maybe on top of the trolling motor, you know, on the gunnels. Like I said, be a little wary of what the adhesive does if you're gonna wanna take it off after a while because it really is sticky and solid. Um, so, but what it does, like I said, overall, it's gonna give you a good way to cover the boat in a very small, simple, streamlined way that's, that's really reliable. And as you guys know, you know, I run these, <laughs> these safety cords because I've had some issues with the suction cup. You're not gonna run into issues with the adhesive, but at the same time, there's some other trade-offs that you run into. But definitely something you wanna check out. And the, it, the, really the possibilities are endless with the adhesive. Um, they really can go, like I said, I mean, you can put them on your trolling motor, you can put them on your kayak, you can put them uh, you know, on a tackle box. You, they're really, it's one of those cool things where there really isn't a boundary as to where you can go with them. So lastly, or actually second to last, the one that I wanna hit on is this guy right here. And this is probably one of the most versatile mounts as well because it allows you the creativity to make some choices. 
This is a roll bar mount. They also make a handlebar mount. It's gonna depend on the diameter of mount you want. And all this is, is basically it's a, a tightening bracket available from Monster Fishing or GoPro. And it allows you to clamp on this mount to any kind of circular or semi-circular surface. And it's great because you can get poles like these and have them like straight out. You can pop them underwater. There's a lot of different directions you can go with it. You know, you can even, like a lot of guys will attach them to handlebars on, on mountain bikes. That doesn't exactly apply to our fish and stuff, but you get the idea. There's a lot of different locations. I mean, you can put it on a steering wheel if you wanted to, man. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do with it. A lot of versatile ways. Once again, that's the roll bar mount. So last but not least, and this is the one that is kind of cool because in the sense that you know, the newer cameras, the, the Hero 3s, the Hero 4s, they have a much better microphone than they used to have. So what it enables you to do is you can use the, the Heroes as your all-around camera. I mean, kind of like even this video that I'm shooting right now, I can use the Hero to shoot all this talk about, you know, the mounts and, and different ways to use them. And I'm going to get decent sound quality and it's going to get a great picture because they capture such a, a high resolution image. But in order to do that, I got to put a camera on a tripod because that's the best way to do it instead of having somebody hold on to it and shake it. So what I'm going to need is the tripod mount. And you can see one attached to my quick release right here. You pop it off. It's a real simple deal. It's just a quarter inch screw in. And uh, you go ahead and you screw it onto your quick release on your tripod and it allows you to use your GoPro just like you'd use like a, an HD camera, like a studio camera or even like a point and shoot camera. And you get a nice stable frame. And like I said, it's perfect for situations where we're shooting videos like these. Maybe you're trying to film a weigh-in and you just want to set up a camera right next to the weigh-in like station in that. Or maybe, you know, you want to capture like a slow motion like sunrise thing on the boat. It really, and the wind's blowing. It really allows you like a lot of uh, different options and gives you kind of a stable perspective to, to, to really show off what a, what a GoPro can do. And like I said, the new audio on the newer cameras really is enough quality where we can shoot vids like these and, and it comes out pretty clean and pretty natural. So that kind of caps up the mounts. Um, you can get them all, just check out the page on Monster Fishing, um, OutdoorProShop.com. They have all the mounts from the action mounts we talked about all the way to the, the tripod mount to, to get like these commentary style videos. There's a lot of other extra accessories on there you can check out, but that kind of covers the mounts that I think you guys will need. If you guys got any questions, hit us up in the comment section or shoot us an email or however you want to get a hold of us and we'll try to help you out. But hope this helps you out to get some cool fishing vids out on the water, guys. Tight lines.